Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson, it's Saturday, and Will and I cannot wait to play Astroneer. How excited are you, Will? I'm beyond excited. That was a little lackluster, to be honest with you, but we're going to play some Astroneer. You know what? I spent an hour making this nice overlay this morning, but screw it, we're going straight to the game overlay. Well, that one's new too. Um, so we're going to play. Uh, let me just, I got to do a little behind the scenes. We found some cheat sheets, which are fantastic. I don't know if you have those up, Will. I do. I was I was gonna print them, but then they're all on like black, and I was like, I don't yeah. want to waste so much black ink. I think there's there's uh, lighter color versions you can find from other people. I I have it taken up. My problem is they're so crowded that I I have two monitors just dedicated to two of the sheets. Yeah, the, I didn't want to like have it cover stuff, so that's why I was mainly gonna print it. But yeah, I have the wiki up at least. Um, but we are subpixel. Uh, you guys can find us at subpixelfilms.com. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks, guys. Love you all. I'm just so excited to play. Um, so here's the plan. Will, what have you gotten done since the last time we played? Uh, since the last time we played, I everything you see before you is basically what I... No, just kidding. Um, wow. I built... Notably, I built uh, a tractor and some trailers. Uh, I think you built the other trailer. And then I built a buggy because I wanted to get around. Um, and then I set up, I think, w the original arm to pull stuff off of the furnace. But then you kind of, you had this feeding one, mm -hmm. um, which the first time I logged in, it was, I thought you had it backwards because this one was full of finished products. That's yeah, I hadn't, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't pulled it um, off yet. It's, but the once arms you said are, you yeah, the did arms, it right, yeah, yeah. The colors are not intuitive, except for, I mean, maybe green means start. I feel like it should be too close. I feel like it should be green and red. But I, I when I first placed the arms, I didn't even know if they were different colors. Oh, they, like, yeah, yeah. They look so similar. Um, the other thing is the range. I don't know if that range indicator is accurate or not. It's not at all. I think it's objects in the circle, not the circle. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because I, I was curious if you could feed to two, if you put two side yeah. by side. But anyways, yeah. And then I added this arm over here just so that it's it's it working pretty up. well. The main the problem, problem is, is we you have too much too near stuff. it and it, it dumps onto your backpack, which is yeah, also annoying. Uh, and the only other stuff I've been doing is I've been just digging really deep, mm -hmm. and I find some pretty good research stuff that has a ton of bites in it. That's so okay. I, I, I'm through yeah. the mantle, I think. So it's here's the, the thing. Deepness. You ready? Um, I did some research. So number one, to get a lot of these other resources like iron, titanium, etc., we have to go to other planets. So on this stream, we will be going to other planets and starting to set up some bases. The other thing is the end game to this, if you remember the gateway we found on stream last time. Um, so basically, you in the core, the gateway allows you to easily travel between planets. It's like a fast travel system. But I'm not sure how much we're going to actually use that because once you get shuttles yeah. going, you should be okay. But inside the core of each planet is a way of crafting like a it's like a planetary token in a way with like the resources from that planet. And then there is so in the core of each planet is one of those special gateways, like a unique kind of it. And then there's a big giant gateway in the sky that we have to take each unique planetary token to that big gateway in the sky and that triggers the end game so if oh. that makes sense so basically we have to get to the core of every planet and solve the gateway puzzle and i think it's just a matter of putting the right resources in okay. um I'm so down. i can't remember how many planets there are but we're gonna go to a planet we've got two shuttles here because these are small shuttles so they only carry one person so the plan is i'm gonna go first because i'm on stream and i'll establish a base excuse me on novus i'll build a landing pad Will will come right after, then we'll, we'll mine a bunch of iron. Um, but before we do that, I, I want to make sure, I'm going to go through my, my like pre-launch checklist to make sure I have everything I need to land and build a printer and print a landing pad. Because the problem is, I can only carry small stuff with me. Like, I can't take a large printer with me because it's too big. So, let me go through this real quick. So, the first thing I'm going to do when I get down there is I need... Uh, a medium platform. So I have a medium platform. Yeah, that's a medium platform. Um, then with that medium platform, I'm going to put a printer on it. A medium printer. 
I have a medium printer. With that medium printer, I'm going to build a large platform, which takes three resin. One, two... Oh no, I don't have three resin. Yeah, let me let me go get some resin real quick. If you have any soil, you can just do it on the. Uh... Well, I I know where one is, but actually, you know what? Let me look. I wish there was a backpack extender. Yeah, I want to get into uh, like <clears throat> they have um, like extenders and splitters for power. Yeah, I want to start. I've, like, because I want to make a whole power area and then have that whole area feed back in rather than like the random spots we have right now. I wonder oh, if we I... need lithium to make battery banks. Yeah. So Novus has lithium and hematite, and I believe hematite is what we need for. Yeah. So okay. once once we get that back here, I, I'm probably going to focus on like laying out an area to have power generation. Yeah, because we have power generation right now, but we don't have power storage. Yeah, power is generation and storage. So I'm going to have a uh, like a field of generators, mostly because this planet is windy and sun evenly. So I'll do mostly wind and solar, and then uh, I will have it feed into a giant battery storage area. Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem I'm reaching. So in order to make a oh no, large platform A is two resin. So I have two resin. Let me get back to base before I... Okay, all right, so I have the medium, I have the medium platform, the medium printer. And then I'm gonna print a large platform, which is, also I wanna make the parking area, oh, easy to get to. Yeah, because we can get a paver eventually too, to make some roads. Um, so I have two resin to make my large platform. The large printer, I have three compound to put the large printer, to build the large printer. The large printer goes on the large platform, and then I build the landing pad, which is two ceramic and aluminum, which I have. Ceramic, ceramic, aluminum. I think I have just enough, and I have a beacon, and I have a solar panel and a wind turbine to power it. So are you ready, Will? I am right. You said you, did you just take the large printer? No, because it's too big. So I have to bring enough stuff to print a large printer there. But if you print a large printer, oh, even the little packaged version of it is too big? No, no, it's, but it's not. It's a, it's a medium package. It's like the oh, size of a science yes. item. Sorry, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, where is our large printer? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I moved it to a printing area because the other thing is it has to have room in front of it to print. I'd say feel free to reorganize if you want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna print some platforms. Like I'm gonna start looking into everything. Uh, I just wanna set up where the power area is gonna be. Yeah. Landing pad. Oh, okay, I'm heading to Novus. Do you wanna hop in that? You wanna like fill your backpack with the stuff next to the shuttle and then come behind me once I have the landing pad set up? Yeah, let me know. Uh, how much of this stuff, it, what's important up front? I would say anything that's packaged. Okay. Where's... So I just had a bunch of tethers. Can I not combine two tethers? Oh, that's here we go. Fun. Oh, Novus is tiny. I love it. Um, there's some tethers. I would say anything that's packaged. And then is there anything else there? Solid fuel thruster. Yeah, bring that. Because each thruster, I, I, I haven't found a clear answer yet. It either gives you two burns or four burns. And basically, leaving a planet counts as a burn. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's... Um, Should I bring carbon? You need that? I can bring the small wind turbine. You can, bring, you can bring the carbon and the generators. There's generators there, right? I don't need this many tether bundles. Okay, give me a second. I'm, I'm orbiting slowly, just trying to figure out where I'm going to land.
They also say try to land at the poles, and apparently you you orbit across the equator, I think. Oh, I, I didn't realize you can use tether bundles without having them on you. What do you mean? Like, if a tether bundle's on the ground, you just hold F on it, and it spawns one in your hand. Hmm. That is pretty interesting. Uh, okay. okay, I have one generator, one carbon, medium think... solar, medium platform A, solid fuel thruster. Oh, yeah, I would and say... drill mod. Well, the drill mod doesn't have to come, I just... Okay, I'll oh, leave the drill mod. Where? Oh, my I'll bring goodness. the other thing there. Um, Actually, can I... I landed in a giant crater. Oh, small generators don't use carbon. I thought I thought you could. No, oh. they only use. They only use organic. Organic. I think medium generators use carbon. Can you try that real quick? I'm just curious. Uh, I'm trying it. I'm trying it right now. Oh, oh you mean the medium? The no, the small. So it doesn't yeah, it take doesn't carbon. Work on the small. That's weird. Which I only realized that because you can store a generator with a full stack of bio in one slot on your backpack. Gotcha. So I, I'll get to, is there a lot of biology there or no? Organic, I mean? Uh, yeah, I see some organic. Okay, so I won't bother to bring any. Sorry, I just, so I don't know if you've seen, if you've landed on a planet before or seen people land on a planet, but you don't really get to pick. It's just like circles on the surface that you can choose from. Yeah, I do remember that. And it just, I picked one near the, the, one of the poles. I think it's the North Pole. And it just put me in a crater. Nice. It's just like, hey, check it out, crater. That's where you want to be. Also, I think I made a mistake, but oh well. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm packed up, so just let me know when uh, I'm good to land. I gotta, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Sorry, I was not expecting it to put me in a crater, so now I have to like move stuff out of the crater. Okay, what was I? I was printing. Oh, except I can't print with a full backpack. Oh, that can't go on there. Oh, hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. I'm totally finishing the script right now and not playing Astroneer. <laughs> no, I'm almost done with it. I swear. We need a large platform A. Go get some oxygen. Did it just announce twice? Oh no, I got a different thing. Well, I already made one mistake. So it's gonna take a Extra little while. Large B platform. I brought a medium solar panel, which doesn't fit on this guy but don't I have batteries I don't have batteries with me oh we need iron for that okay I'm gonna go let me at least put the beacon down where the frick oh there it is So you're good at building tunnels? I'm terrible. Yeah. That's good. Large Large platform. Okay, so I need to make large platform A's for this wind farm. 
Uh, if you want to, you can unlock. There's some platforms that are like better than other platforms, if that makes sense. In terms yeah, of like actually, how many slots. So if you want so to research one. So there's an extra one, large platform C. Yeah. Might be what I want for the farm. Oh, actually. I should have brought a generator. Wind turbines are twos, tier two, right? No, you can do small one. You can do small medium. No, I, but the medium ones are tier two, so. Yes. This extra but you, large you can do a small one B. out of your backpack, I think. Yeah. This extra large platform B has eight tier two slots. Oh, that's nice. So that's probably the best thing to build to have. Yeah. Because then I can have eight uh, things on it. So I'm going to research it. It's 3,000. We got 3,500. Yeah. Um, I need four iron, but the planet we just flew to has iron, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so. The only problem is I, my wind turbine is too big for the platform I brought. So I'm on, I'm sorry, I'm on wind turbine only. So it's just yeah. taking a while for the printer. So it's going to be a bit. Is that planet more windy or more solar? It's both. It's high on both. It's high on both? Gotcha. Ooh. Okay. There's a research pod right near us. So this... I need iron for this. Gotcha. Mowing. Ugh. Mowing. Ugh. Mowing? Jake said he had to mow. Uh, I haven't mowed in a while. Uh, what'd you do this morning? Um, I made love to myself. No. Um, I, this morning, I worked on a script for a thing. Um... I did that this morning, and then I, I bought so, um, I bought the time, time gate nights chase boxed PC version mm -hmm. off eBay because it was ten dollars, and then it was, like, quote unquote crushed, which it wasn't really, but it was yeah. sealed too. So I immediately ripped it open because who cares about sealed video games, and uh, I took everything out, and now I'm, in the process of flattening. The inner, uh, actually, the inner box I flattened overnight and put it back together. And now the outer box I'm flattening just so it takes. There were bends like in the middle of the sides of the boxes. Uh -huh. So I'm just, I'm folding it back and forth and flattening it under like six, six huge books to uh, flatten it out. And that's what I did this morning. Karen made waffles. What are you going to do? You're just going to hang it on the wall? Uh, no, no, I, I'm flattening it to then fold it back together. Oh, okay. I didn't no, crush it. Gotcha. Because there's creases where there shouldn't be creases. Gotcha. Um, and then I'm going to do some scans of it for uh, Moby because Moby Games doesn't have the English or the the English, the American. Oh, box. and you could you could submit to Moby? Believe That's neat. Though. If not, I'll just put it on Giant Bomb. Um... What is that? Ammonium. So the other thing we gotta do at some point, especially as we start flying, is we gotta get our air condenser set up. Um, because with the air condenser, the atmosphere condenser, that gets us hydrogen, I believe. And then we put that with the ammonium and we get liquid fuel, which is a lot better than the solid fuel. Cause you yeah. can you can I think they said you can put up to like 24 launches worth of fuel on the rocket or something. I mean, you can bring more than that, but they, they said it just makes it a lot more condensed and easy. Okay, so good news is I have not made a mistake yet. Bad news is, it's a, well, I did make a mistake, but not a, not a fatal mistake. This is, this is like going to the moon stuff where it's like, hey, once you leave, you're not coming back. I'm trying to do all this in one trip, you know? Yeah. Um, so this morning I woke up early. For some reason I've been waking up at 6 a.m. lately. I don't know why. That's not too bad. Um, I played a little bit of Astroneer. I did a little bit of prep work for the stream. I built the overlay because I, I did a two-person overlay. Um. Noise. Okay. Sorry, I'm just printing stuff real quick.
large printer. Print. What do you mean? Um, I did, uh, I've been watching the Michael Jordan documentary, Last Dance. Have you, have you heard of that one? No. Uh, it came out recently. It was on ESPN. Um, and basically it's about, um, Oh, this is... Sorry, this is just annoying. Do I not have enough power? Um, so it's all about... All about... Sorry, you'll, you'll have to give me... I'm, I'm trying to... I'm, like, trying to print this thing, and I have the resources. But it won't let me press the button. It's all about... Uh, so I don't follow basketball. I know, like, nothing about Michael Jordan. But it's basically... All about... Michael Jordan. Um, We're so close. Please I, just tell I know, me what it's, it's just, all about. It's just... <laughs> I'm sitting here... And I have this large, I'm, I'm looking at the medium printer, right? And it says, print the large printer. I'm like, great. I flip open the cover, it's the green button. I hit the green button and then it turns red and it doesn't actually start. Maybe it's because it doesn't have power right now. Anyways, um, so it's about Michael Jordan basically following his career. And it's, it's, I think the impetus for it was they, they either came across or they had this original footage from 97, 98. There we go. Yeah, you can't start it if you have no power. So I was like waiting for the wind turbine to spin up so I could start the build. <laughs> uh. um, so it's it's all about, they have all this behind the scenes footage, basically 97 to 98. At this point, Michael Jordan has taken the Chicago Bulls to five championships in the last seven years. So he got three in a row and then there was a break and then there was two in a row. So he's trying to get his, they call it the second three P. So it's a six championship, his second set of three championships in a row for the NBA. And so they brought in for the season, they brought in a camera crew that's behind the scenes the whole time. But mixed with that, they keep going back in time to like when he's a kid, when he first joined the Chicago Bulls, when he first won a championship, when he won it three times in a row, when he was a baseball player for a little bit between. And it's just like telling that story. And it's like, I'm not that interested in basketball. I'm not a huge Michael Jordan fan, nothing against him or anything. I just never really found it compelling to know or follow. And it's incredibly good documentary. Like it yeah. is weaving so much information and stories together. So coming to it as somebody who knows nothing, it's telling so much. And it's it's 10, 10 episodes. Each episode's like 50 minutes. It's really, really good. Highly recommend it. Mm. I'll check it out. Plus, it's got a lot of good footage. Like, I mean, it has a lot of basketball footage, which gets a little boring after a while, but it's got a lot of good footage of just like, hey, here's Michael Jordan in 1984 with his teammates, like lounging in a hotel. And it's just like, oh, that's cool. Like, I don't, I don't know if you like that kind of stuff, but where it's just like, show me the 80s. And it's like, here's the 80s, you know, <laughs> unraw. It's not stylized. It's not a film set. It's just like, boom, here's the 80s. And then they have like early 90s, late 90s. It's like. Dennis Rodman hanging out in Vegas with Carmen, with his girlfriend, Carmen Electra. It's just like, boom, 90s Vegas. And I just love yeah. looking at that, you know? Yeah, I like that. It's great. And there's like, there's this one like really short scene where it's Michael Jordan driving, um, he's driving a Range Rover through Chicago in the rain. And it's like an early 90s Range Rover. And it's him behind the wheel. And I'm just like looking at the instrument cluster, just being like, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. 90s cars, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's just a real good like time capsule as well, and it has a lot of great. It's, it has interviews from everybody. Like there's this old, there's uh, Isaiah Thomas, 
who used to play for the Detroit Pistons. I'm, I'm saying this like I know, but I don't. I just learned all this from the documentary. <laughs> okay, and basically, like a basketball person. I know. So in the early 90s, there was this very tense rivalry between the Detroit Pistons, who were like the championship, the reigning championship team, and the Bulls, who were trying to win their first championship. And like Jordan and Isaiah Thomas like had this beef on the court, but they're interviewing both Jordan and Isaiah Thomas modern times as well. So they're oh. like... So, like, Isaiah Thomas is there, and he seems like this, like, just really nice guy. And he's like, you know, it was tough. Jordan was very good. You know, we're playing this tough game. And Michael Jordan's just like, Isaiah Thomas is an asshole, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> and, and you're just like, wow, Michael Jordan's got a grudge. But then, like, through the story, you realize, oh, no, wait, Isaiah Thomas is definitely an asshole. And there's this, like, I'm trying to remember the specifics of the story, and I can't remember it. But basically, um, Isaiah Thomas did this, like, nasty move. And Michael Jordan's like, let me tell you what Isaiah Thomas is going to say. He's going to say, oh, at the times it was different. And, you know, I, I never meant to do that. That's not the type of person I am. And he's like, he's lying. He meant to do it. And the times weren't like that. And then they show Isaiah Thomas and he's like, I was, you know, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Everybody was doing it back then. It wasn't meant to be a mean thing. And then they cut to footage of like all these other instances of people not doing what he did. <laughs> So it's like, there's like grudges that they just have so many people that they're interviewing and incorporating into the documentary that it's all this firsthand evidence. Like they have like the reporters who are writing the stories about it. They have the people who are there to tell the firsthand experience. Um, they have the, the, the news coverage at the time to cover the event. So it's just like this like comprehensive view of all these different important events. Mm hmm. And it's like there's no information missing. So you get all the angles. There's a really good like subplot or like or like thematic through line about the press really loves Michael, but at the same time they love to write about Michael, so they start speculating on things and spinning all these stories about him that are positive and negative, and it and it starts to how it's impacting him and how he's playing because he's reading all these crazy stuff. And there's like good reporters and bad reporters and like the bad reporters take what the good reporters find and throw it out of context all this stuff like that and it's just it's it's really good so i i highly recommend it it's on uh, espn i think it's on netflix internationally um just a really good documentary and i'm not a huge documentary fan but this one's real good um and then i also have been I've also been um, uh, so if you remember I talked about how I was going to be part of an endurance racing series mm -hmm. so that event was for Le Mans which is the 24 hours of Le Mans but that already happened and it, it coincided with my Florida vacation so I actually couldn't make it but oh. they're running a new one in two weeks which is the 24 hours of Spa Spa Francorchamps in Belgium another famous course so I'm going to be part of that, um, and I'm I've been practicing. I've done like two two and a half hours of testing. It's it's like oof. a lot. It's it's like you got a team and you don't want to let the team down. So you're doing your best to just put down like consistent lap times and not screw up because. So the way it works is you you can't crash out of the race, but like let's say you hit a wall really hard. They they make you go back to the pits. And then you sit in the pits while the repairs are happening. So at the Le Mans race, which I missed, somebody got, like, somebody came up behind him and just spun him out. Like, basically just being a real jerk about it. Mm -hmm. And they slammed into the wall, and they went to the pits, and they had to sit there. Not, not physically sit there, but the car sat in the pits. Nobody could drive it for an hour and a half while repairs were happening. Jeez. So it's one of those things where it's like, if I screw up and slam into the wall, that's like an hour of the race gone. And the whole time, your your rivals are lapping you. So it's one of those things where it's like, I'm trying to take it seriously. Because if I screw up my race, I could be mad at myself. But I'm not letting other people down. Yeah. But now I'm going to be letting other people down. All right, landing pad is almost done. Why are you staring at... Oh. Nice. Are you cooking? No, I was working with Oh. Uh, what about it? Yeah, I like it. Good job. 
Kara made a lovely card for our neighbor whose birthday is today. Oh, that's nice. Oh, where's my Jehovah's Witness letter? I haven't read that on stream yet. Oh, yeah, I forgot read I got it. it. I think it's over there, maybe? I'm gonna... We're, like, collecting them. It's crazy. I think it's over there. I'll, I'll find it in a second. I'm, I'm, so I'm putting everything farther away from the oh. shelter, and I'm just extending. I'm using those power cable extenders to extend. Ah! What'd you do? I died. Oh, no! but I just, I just came back to my shuttle. Okay, oh, all right, okay. that's fine. There's these popper plants, and I got a little too close, and they just kill you. One hit. One hit, you down. Uh, anyways, I'm using cable extenders to... Oh, Karen found it. To extend stuff farther away from the base, rather than having it all up front. Oh, is that what those cable extenders do? They just act like a platform almost, where they... Yeah, they're like a tiny little thing, so it's just connectors. Oh, that's nice. And, but they're directional, too, so it feeds the power a certain direction. Making like a research area, and then I'll make a. I have a power area, and I'll make a printing area, and I'm gonna try to clean up this uh, storage area. Thanks, Boo. Yeah, no problem. I wish I could move this landing pad. I think you can. You just have to disc. Oh, the original one. I don't think you can. Either. Oh. Okay, Ooh, and I'm, I'll make like a parking area for all the vehicles. Okay, you are you ready to come? I mean, to the. <laughs> oh, I was leaving it. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to come. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me put this. You, you can go ahead and get in the air. I'm gonna okay. put this somewhere. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad spot for. Why are there two different launch buttons? I I don't know. Maybe one's, uh, I was going to say one's up or one's down, but that's not really how it works. <laughs> I want to launch down. Oh, man, if this game had, like, launch drill pods. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like, take me up, take me down. But that's not really how it works. Right. You just pick a location on the planet that's pre pre high. But I'm saying I, there should be, like, like drill pods. So you can, like, a separate, like, a drill shuttle that shoots you into the center of the Earth or the planet. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm in. I'm orbiting now. Okay, so now go go to if you go if you press C, it takes you up into the solar system, and then you can do. Oh, I see. And then what planet are you on? Novus. It's a it's a moon of another planet. Novus. Oh. Okay, so I just clicked on it, and it's now bringing me over. Yes, and then and then the orbiting is slow, but you should see a beacon on, I think, like the left-hand side of, of the planet. So you'll just yeah. have to orbit until you see the beacon, and then you should be able to select that. I also just see your shuttle icon. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, so you should be able to click that and then land on the landing pad I just deployed. Oh, I see you come in. That's awesome. Okay, so now... We c let's find some iron. I think iron's the priority. I agree. And this research object here. That's well, we can't, we can't take it with us. I know. It, it, was a, it was a joke. Oh, did you bring tethers? Yeah, I got one thing of tethers. You have compound? No. Okay. So we uh, here, let me drop all this stuff I have, though. What is this? Solar... Storage. Cool. I'm gonna unpack this storage. Oh, my s stuff is freaking out. I think I want the base to be. There's a relatively flat area up here. This this planet's like really rocky. Hey, you know what? It's your responsibility. Put that stuff on the storage over there. <laughs> okay. Wait, where'd you put the storage? It's back there. Oh, over there. Yeah, because that's that's relatively flat. And then this beacon, we can put the beacon 
you know, while this is going, I'm going to print, um... Oh, I almost, <laughs> I almost died. I had no oxygen. I'm going to print another uh, large platform while we got it. Yeah, this area is pretty flat. I'm, I'm going to flatten this area over here. Okay. I'm just going to make a large platform so that we can... Um, put some of your generators down, your storage down. Okay, so we got to find... Iron. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, if you want to flatten all that stuff, that would be great. I don't think we can move. Well, I guess we can move the landing pad, but I kind of like it there. Yeah. Because once my shuttle leaves, it shouldn't land there anymore. Yeah. Is there another... You know what, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start moving stuff up here. Because I don't think we need a huge base. I think it's basically we just need storage and furnace and the auto arms. Right? Yeah. Oopsie. No. That's ammonium. Okay. Just moving this stuff up here. So the good news is there's a lot of resin around us, which is great for building platforms. Oh, sorry, you're doing that. Yeah, I'm just trying to move everything away from my temporary base because my temporary base was kind of crap. Oh, you know what? With this this guy, I should be able to... You have another... Solar. Perfect. This guy, I should be able to print. Oh no, it's a small printer. What do I need for a small printer? Do you have any compound? No, I don't. Okay, if we find any compound, I need to do small storage. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, there is a bunch of resin. Okay, I'm just going to plop that goober there for now. Yeah, my game got super laggy once we came here. I think it's just like loading everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go find some iron. Compound and, I mean, hematite. Yeah, I started going this way. Following you. Uh, it should be red oh, compound. and sharp. Ooh, that's perfect. Oh, I just ran out of tethers, too. Oh, yeah, because with this compound, we can do a bunch of tethers. Yeah. What do I need for... I'm gonna go... Whoa! I'm gonna go build a bunch of oh. storage. <laughs> I didn't get any of the compound. Oh, there should still be some. No, I know, but I was digging alongside you, but I think it just all went to you. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Small printer. Okay. This is going to be... Thank you. 
Oh, storage is resin. Oh, well, I got a lot of that. Tether bundle. Uh, you find anything yet? We may have to go underground. No, I'm still just getting some combat. Yeah, the best, if we just find a cave, I'm sure we'll find stuff in no time. There's one. Oh, it's just a hole. Not really oh, a cave. Oh, I'm losing power. Oh, because my two work lights. Uh, I'm going to disconnect and reconnect real quick. Okay. I'm heading the other direction. It's going all weird for me right now. Come on, give me power. Okay, I'm gonna head in the other direction of the landing pad. And I've been forgotten, I Joe. Oh, you know what? Do you? We probably will need that drill mod for some of this harsh terrain, won't we? Yes, I do have it. Uh, is it already on yours? Yeah. That's fine. I'm loading back in now. Still freaking out. These tongue plants. They licking you? They will pop you in the air and then kill you from fall damage. Oh, oh. Whew. oh man, you really did land in the crater. My game froze there for a good bit. Oh, come on, game. Don't do this. It's hitching for like a second at a time. Yeah, I keep getting that too. Gotta stop Christopher hitching on me. Ha, ha, ha. Found. Oh, it's just organic. You find anything yet? Found compound and uh, a pod. I mean, Fast. Yeah, I think it's like three and a half minutes. Man, how are we not finding anything? I'm not even finding lithium. I'm not even finding like a cave. Yeah. I'm just gonna make my own. Okay, I'm just gonna keep exploring. Whoops. found like several resource pods so far. I think they're all energy. Yeah, that's what I've found too. That's funny. Oh wait. 
This one's resin. No. And it's right next to resin. Perfect. What is it? It's a resin resource pod, and it's right next to resin. Uh -oh. oh, nice. I know the ones underground on that first planet were pretty much all needed lithium, and they were always right next to, or not lithium, uh, laterite, and it was right next to it. Wait, why aren't you taking... I don't have to do anything special with these, right? You just put the resource on it? Yeah. It just takes a second. Hmm. Jake says one of the concept artists at Runic designed some of the space suits. Oh, that's cool. So this this thing is not unlocking, even though I have resin in it. You sure it's for resin? Yeah, symbols match. Well, well, you know what? You're right. It's not resin. It's. What is that? Man, even with the guides up, it's still like a pain trying to find stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. What 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 is that? It's it it like it looks like resin. Oh, I think it's laterite. Yeah, that's the one that they usually are on the other planet. It looks so similar to resin. Man, I'm just digging down, and I haven't hit a single cave. This is supposed to be easy. easy. Great. Now I'm out of tethers. I keep running out of power. Why don't you just turn your work lights off? I'll turn one of them off. I can barely see if they're not. If one of them isn't on. Wait, really? You have your generic light. I know. But it's so oh, much brighter with work. I guns. forget, you're underground. Hey, you know what I realized? This is going to sound very simple. You probably already know it. So, like, if you're, if you're digging out a resource and you're wondering if there's any more... You just put your cursor over the ground, it'll the icon for the resource will pop up, even if it's not visible. That makes sense. Oh. I wonder I've never really noticed that. That's smart. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep adventuring. Same Z's. Come on. Does your backpack on this planet do the thing where if you open it, everything wiggles around like crazy? Yes, my bottom stuff does. Yeah, I don't know why. That's what she said. Your bottom. No caves on this system? Yeah, I haven't been able to find one. Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep exploring. Break into a cave? 
I did finally Wow these caves are deep son oh. I'll make my way back eventually Ooh, Jake's asking what our favorite skyboxes are Oh, yeah, I saw your tweet about that. I was going to say Bungie games have great skyboxes. They do. Destiny has good skyboxes. Destiny has great skyboxes. Um, <gasps> I may have found a cave. I can't tell. Yeah, I found a cave. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a cave or if it's just like a, a hole. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. Found debris. Found two pods. One oh, needs no. laterite. I went into this hole without properly tethering. Ooh. <gasps> oh no, it's those weird pink plants. Oh no, don't fall. <gasps> this is a cave. What, okay, I'm gonna make caves. What color should caves be? Black? I'll do black for the beacon color. Oh, gotcha. I did black. Mine's just along my tether. Yeah, mine too. I just like using beacons. Ooh, what are you researching? Found some. What is this? This is laterite. found what looked to be like blueberries. Oh, laterite just becomes aluminum. Oh no, this isn't laterite, this is lithium. I found lithium. Yay. I have not found anything. Just blueberries. Okay, I'm gonna fill my backpack with lithium. Smart. I'm finding, finding research. That's kind of good. It's giving me 290 per. Oh, you know what? We should we should do a research. Isn't that cheap? Station. Yeah. Let me look at it. Research. Well, I'm, just, I'm just saying I'm finding like those little nodes. They're giving me 200 each. Oh, yeah. So that research chamber is just two compound and a resin. So we can build one real quick. It's just going to suck up power, but. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't think it's worth taking the research back home. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to set up more power because I'm. It's not feeding to me. Great. Down here. No, I ran out of tethers. I still didn't find anything. Are you on some of the plants? Are you looking up? I know that sounds stupid, but that's how I found my stuff. It was just like sticking out of the ceiling and then there's a giant pocket of it. Oh, and then the cursor trip definitely helps because it's, it's helping me find stuff that, that I haven't fully dug out yet. I could find a medium platform B. I need to find more compound, though, is my issue now. Oh, this is so good. Getting all this wow. good stuff. Oh. This is so much research I'm getting. Whoops. Oh, you know what? I think I'm full. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I like that you can make the giant rocks disappear. Oh yeah, with the drill mod one. Well, if you just like dig something out, it just eventually just oh, disappears. Pops it. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm heading back. This cave is definitely far. <gasps> but... Oh my goodness. Did you find the good stuff? I No, I just found so much resin. Oh. It's just a cave of resin. Uh. Get away. So what did I find? Man, I can't believe these give us that much research. That seems like broken. Well, you got to go to a different planet to get it, you know. Well, some of these planets That's are dangerous. True. Still, it's almost 300 for each little tiny thing. There's like four per thing. Okay, okay I'm coming back because I need compound and I'll drop off this resin. Can you drop off two compound for a research chamber just just yeah you know, you grab two extra because I'm, I'm full of lithium and this pod dropped a research item Oof. so what does the paver do makes like a road like like easily like it just does a flat yeah, it just as a flat road in front of it as you're driving. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. I was watching the last episode of Astroneer I watched with from Giant Palm. Vinny was had just made that. Oh, I want I want to see what we need for it. Paver is aluminum alloy and silicone. Oh, we should make a soil thing here, too, so we can just, uh... Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Oh, I didn't bring any canisters with me. Never. I have one canister. Although, I guess you can make canister. Yeah, what does the soil canister need? Small canisters. Resin. Yeah, so I'll just make some. Yeah, there's a bunch of resin over here, still. So. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? Oh, you have the the landing pad. I think we need to make, oh boy. I'm going to, I'm going to take your shuttle back. I'm going to take your shuttle back. I'm going to bring enough back to get another landing pad and I'm going to dump all this lithium. Although, although I'll make some batteries too. Yeah, batteries would be good. Let me see, what does it take to make a small battery? Oh, a small battery is just lithium. What's medium battery? I'm curious to do all these like battery sensory sensor stuff. So I guess that lets you like shut off certain things if the battery's low. Yeah. Tree fell on me. Um, so a battery. I'm gonna go use the bathroom quick. By medium battery is zinc and lithium. Yeah, I can bring that. I need for a medium shuttle. Aluminum alloy. Cool. Okay, so I have all this. Now let's print some. Oh, Will, you're gonna die. 
He's gonna die. Sink, sink, sink. He's he's probably already dead. Medium battery. Lithium. Got that. I've got that. What do I need? Oops, sorry. I need an oxygenator. Well, let me just do a, a shelter. It's plastic. Ugh. Field shelter. Yeah, so I think he's going to die because he gets his oxygen from the shuttle that I just took off him. Ha ha ha. That's pretty funny. All right, so let me see if I can do an oxygenator. Sorry if I seem distracted. I'm I'm looking at this stuff off the screen that all these cheat sheets. Aluminum and ceramic. Oh, but that's too big. Oh, but I'm bringing it with me for the small printer. Hey, Will, buddy boy. Oh, we gotta research more. I'll just head back. Can't wait for him to get back. Realize he's dead. Where am I going? Hello. Hey, um, quick question. Are you dead? Yes. So... When I took off, I took the shuttle, which which has the oxygenator on it. <laughs> oh! So I'm bringing I'm bringing one back so we can print. Whoa! Oh. Okay. I'm wondering why, when you left, like I was running out of power immediately. Yeah. And I was alive when I left, so that makes sense. I'm in your shuttle now. Okay. I'm about to land. Which your shuttle has an oxygen in there. Just it wasn't hooked up. Yeah, it's not hooked up. Okay. Let me know when you get here then. I'm bringing it up for two medium batteries. Uh, but we're like 300 research short of... Excuse me. 300 research short of medium battery. Okay. I can just grab like two more of those pods down in the cave I was at. That'll give us 400. 500. Yeah, that should work. Whew, that's funny. Yeah, like I realized it when I landed and I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get back there quick. And I was like, oh no, it's too late already. <laughs> oh, did you see what I did to the base? Oh. Back home? No, sorry, I was kind of. Okay, no, that's fine. I just wasn't sure. You were appreciating me. Oh, this is a perfect time to read this letter. <clears throat> to William Crosby. <laughs> Literally almost read my address. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this from A. Rosado? Uh, Kingdom Hall of Jeho Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, they spelled witnesses wrong, and then there's some whiteout. 
oh, in wow. which they spelled it correctly. And I guess they got their street wrong because then they whited that out and changed that. What's an oxygenator? It's a medium. Yeah. So disappointed already. It's something they wrote it and then they clearly just photocopied it. Oh, it's not handwritten. It's not, well, it is handwritten, but then photocopied. So it was originally handwritten. It says, dear neighbor, my name is Angel Rosado. Hi. Angelical cats. And I'm a local volunteer. I'm writing to our neighbors during the global pandemic to provide some encouragement. There are some positive, thoughtful. Wait, global? Yeah, global pandemic. Whoa. Whoa. There are some positive, thoughtful found no. in the Bible. Oh, I thought he was gonna say, they're going to say there's some positive aspects of the pandemic. Oh, there's some positive, thoughtful found in the Bible. Wow. Thoughtful what found in the Bible? Isaiah 33, 24, say, and no resident will say, I am sick. Soon the day will come when we will no longer be sick or see our loved ones sick. At Revelation 21, 4, God promises to wipe out every tear from your eyes and death will be no more. Neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be any more. There are just some of the many promises found in your Bible. They also didn't end quote the, the, oh. the verse. This is surprising because normally Jehovah's Witnesses are like very well educated. I hope it brings comfort to you and your family as it has for me. Please scan the QR code below to read out how you can cope with it. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> There's a QR code. Look at it. Oh, you cannot see it on oh, my camera. <laughs> but the QR code is so like messed up from the scan that I wonder if it even scans. Karen's going to try it on her phone. Man, that made me sweaty reading that. Oxygenator's up. I'm going to leave and come back in real quick. I, I, I've got some issues. Sweet. Let me go to the camera real quick, because none of y'all should be. There's my dad. Hi. Okay. So you should be good. Okay. Because of the oxygenator, it means that we can take the shuttles whenever we want. Man, this shaky tether bundle. I don't know why it does that. It's crazy. Oh, but I, I would say priority right now is research so I can get batteries. Yeah. I'm going to run. I just, I need compound to uh, have more tethers. Here, I got one for you. Thank you. Okay. Now that it's windy, I'm getting power back super fast. Did the QR code work, Karen? She's trying. I'm loading an app. Oh. Sorry, Jake. I'm, I'm bringing gameplay back. I had to rejoin the server and I didn't want to show the IP. Yeah, we heard you were watching, Jake, and we didn't want uh, you, you to see anything. We heard you were watching and we uh, didn't want you watching. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get you to stop. Yeah, you should be editing the footage I sent you, Jake. JW.org. Deal with isolation. <laughs> Quick guide to. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make that check. Yeah, Never mind. <laughs> we need three hundo. Three hundo? I can get three hundo. Right. Out. Right. Almost. Two forty nine. That was. And there you go. Three hundo. Thank you. I know, Jake. I'm sorry. I'm almost done with it. 
Um, I've made some good progress on... You know what? I'll just talk about it. In the past three or four days, I have bought $32 worth of VHS items for Pixel 8. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, it's for the intro sequence. So the intro sequence is going to be the same for basically all of all of the episodes. So the, the intro sequence is basically me grabbing the Pixel 8 VHS off the shelf, opening the case, taking out the VHS, looking at the label. The label has the episode title. That's the shot. That's the single shot that's going to change per episode. And then I put the tape into a, v, into a VCR and I hit play. And there's there's back there's the intro music during that segment, and then it kicks into the episode. So it's basically subpixel logo, cold open, <gasps> pixel eight intro, and then that. So <clears throat> I had such. You ever have one of those burps that go in instead of out? Yeah. Just had medium batteries. Here we go. Um, so I needed a VHS. At first, I was going to make my own VHS cardboard box, like you have, but then I would have to, like, people were basically saying, you got to go to Staples and get them to print the card stock, because it has to be the right size, too, and I was like, this is too much effort. What? This rock just respawned. Um, so instead of doing that, I was like, okay, well, let me just get one of them, like, Disney or, you know, like, library clamshell VHS cases, right, that have the sleeve, so you can just... I can print out my my pixelate logo and put it in the sleeve, right? You kind of following? Yeah. So, it's planning on doing that, and then, um, oh sweet, okay, batteries up, and then I was like, well, let me look those up, and those are like, I can get a pack of sixty of those for like forty dollars, and I was like, I don't need sixty, and I'm not spending forty dollars, and then I was like, well, what if I just buy one VHS movie? And I found some on Amazon for like 10 bucks. You know, it's like VHS copy of, you know, Gone with the Wind in a clamshell. I'm like, okay. But the pictures weren't great. I couldn't tell if it was in good condition, if it was the type of shell I wanted, etc. I was like, okay, well, you know, I forgot. I forgot about shopgoodwill.com. You know about that website? Yeah. So I went there and I, I typed in VHS and I found, and I won for $20, including shipping, a working VCR and like 25 VHS tapes, including nice. like it's like eight tapes of Walker, Texas Ranger. It's like nine tapes of MGM classics. So it's it's exactly what I need. It's I already have a VCR, but it's enough tapes to make a fake bookcase shelf full of tapes. And then one at least more than one case that I can put the pixelate in and then have the VHS in it. And then I also paid 10 bucks for 600 sets of VHS labels, as in like a blank white sticker for the face and a blank white sp nice. uh, spline. So it's like, it's perfect. So basically I have everything I need. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. And I, the other thing was Pixel 8, I was trying to design a logo for it, but I realized I don't really need the, I don't need a full logo. I just need the, like the name logo because that's what's gonna go on the thumb. Mm -hmm. And then I just have to design the fake VHS um, case. So I did that last night. I have a fake VHS case. So during the intro sequence, nice. you you see the logo on the fake VHS case, the front, the back, the spine. So I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Daddy like yeah. Uh, Karen, what was the news you had? God is dead. What? You got talking to the mic if you want to say it. No, I want to say I don't want to say it on mic. <gasps> oh, you don't want to say it on mic. Well, then you can tell me later then. No, just, no, no, just, no, 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 mute mic. the mic. I don't want to see the reaction. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't mute the mic and we can hear him. Oh, wow. No way. No way. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't say that. I'm screen. honestly surprised <laughs> you didn't look at the mic when I said you forgot to mute it. Because uh, I'm not an idiot. Look. Also, with this microphone, when I hit the mute button, I can't hear the air conditioning anymore. So oh, I know when it's muted. okay, because you're going through it. Got it. All right. So... Doesn't work on me. I just had a burp, and it was very fishy. And I only had waffles today. All right, so I'm following your tethers to get to the, um, the cave, right? Yeah. Oh, 
damn. I got a lot of batteries. Good luck. You know what? I'm gonna leave those on me. What's that over there? Wait. Hi, I'm William Josephitz Crispers. I love your impression of me. It's totally accurate, isn't it? Yeah. Dang, you are good at making the cave. Oh, this is so fun, Will! You didn't tell me <laughs> there was a slide! I'm guessing it's pretty you already slide. popped the achievement that's like slide for 10 seconds continuously. Yeah, but I didn't even do it. I just slid and then it gave it to me. Yeah, I got it. And I was so mad because I was like, man, I can make a sweet slide. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad plant. Dang, you are good at making Ooh. this, these cave entrances. Shoot. I ran out of tethers. Oh, you know what? I don't have any tethers Oops. either. Oh, that was smart. Oh, compound. Perfect. Right in the need. I can't wait to get all of our uh, salvaging stuff up. It's going to be perfect, isn't it? Because there's so much salvage all around us. Yeah, even back on the other planet. <gasps> and I found iron. Nice. Uh, uh, you're, you're down your tether out. line, right? There's only one tether line in the cave? Or no, I guess, yeah. I guess this dead ends. Yeah, there's probably one that dead ends. There's a short one that dead ends. Do you have a beacon on you or no? No, but you should be able to fall. Yeah. Just stay on the tethers so you don't fall off. Gotcha. Fall on. How much is there? Is there? There's enough for me to come and help mine, right? Uh, I I only saw it from a distance. I haven't actually seen the uh, breadth of the wild. Great game. There was some compound. Oh, you know what? I can see your. Your thingy. Hi. Oh, that's a lot. Come over here. Oh, that one's just hanging in midair. Yeah, it won't. It won't solve itself. Oh, I got it. If, sometimes if you build into them, they uh, oh, break. Like it rechecks the physics. Ah! At least I'm still tethered. a little bit oh is that compound yeah there's a bunch of compound down here too nice Just making more tethers do you want this tether the tether bundle up here if you want no i'm good do you want to this, I'm almost out of other tethers, so... We should make a run with this iron back to base. Um, I mean, back to home base. Do you want to do it, or, or should I do it? Um... I can do it. Okay. All right, well, then let's trade stuff so you can run back, and I'll keep mining. So I've got... I need two slots open on yours. Actually, just give me, um, give me one of your tether bundles. Ah. That one's almost empty. There's a full one. Can I put this on your backpack? Oh my god, I can. <gasps> That's so nice. good. Okay, uh, are you full or you still have room for stuff? I'm full. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, there's still a tether bundle here. <laughs> Mm 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go. Before you go. Can I have that drill? Can I have that drill mod? Oh, yeah. I actually need it. Drop it over here. Okay, got it. Thanks. <gasps> oh, I found some more over there. Cool. Oh, man, I can print um, large platform. What, what am I making with this? Um, I, I was thinking, oh, do the chemical lab. We definitely need chem chemical lab is. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, wait, give me a second here. I'm going back to the first planet, right? Not yes, but you're gonna you're gonna need to make another thruster to get here and then back again. If that makes sense. Like you should be fine to get home, but. Um, Am I taking a launch pad one? Yeah, take the launch pad one, because we don't have this. Yeah, take the launch pad one. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find a chemistry lab is tungsten. Oh, we don't have tungsten. Oh, okay. Well, wait, give me a second. How do I get tungsten? Tungsten is wolframite. What do we have? Hematite? Hematite gets us iron. Um, I'd say trade platform, maybe. Okay. That works. Okay. I'm going to leave some stuff here because I don't need to bring like resin back. No. What do I need to make a small canister? Okay. Yeah, what did I say you should build? Atmosphere. Trade. Trade, yeah, because I think with trade we can get... We can get compound. Oh, yeah, trade we can get a lot of stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me look up how the trade platform works real quick. Is it just a straight request? What was the, what's the other planet called? Sylvia? Oh, you... Silva? Yeah, so... so But in order to use the trade platform, we need scrap. Ooh. So <sighs> build a trade platform, which is one iron. That's iron compound... Tungsten. Never mind. Don't build a trade platform. Oh, we can get the shredder. Well, you know... Do... So we need to go to a different planet for tungsten. I'd put this hematite in the furnace, right? Uh, wait, sorry, sorry. I'm not sure chemistry lab is tungsten. It is tungsten. E yeah, you put it in the furnace. So. I would say do atmospheric condenser. Well, you know what? Just don't build anything with it yet. There's nothing right now that oh, we yeah. have to build with it. I think the other thing we need is we really need... Tungsten. And tungsten comes from wolframite. Aren't we on a planet that has wolframite on it? Um, let me check. Astropedia. Planets. Wolframite is on DeSolo. Oh, okay, yeah. So we, we just need to plan to go to a different planet soon. You know there's this Astropedia in the game, right? How? What is it? If you, it's just like a Wikipedia, but it has everything in it. How do you get to it? Oh, oh sorry. You keep cutting out. Uh, if you click on escape and then the little rocket. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so you're on Novus. 
Yeah, we need to get to Desolo. Yeah, I, I don't have a last name. What a bad movie. Well, it wasn't terrible, but... What movie? Solo. Mmm. Yeah. It was just kind of what I thought it would be. You know? Yeah, better than... Uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. You know, I almost want to say better than Last Jedi, too. Yeah, I think I would say that as well. Okay, um... Oh, I'm at home. Hold on. It's too close. I I'm not doing anything here. Is that what we conclusion we came to? Yeah, I think it's I think it's just do iron. Oh, but you gotta get a you gotta get a thruster to take off. Anyways, oh yeah, I died, so I gotta go. It's too close to a popper when I popped him. Oh, we can salvage the old thrusters. That's cool. I'm an idiot. Thrusters on medium printer. Oh, sorry. One second. Uh, oh wait, atmosphere condenser medium. doesn't. I oh, know small printer. Need... Atmosphere condenser is only iron, glass, and oh, plastic. Oh, yeah, plastic needs chemistry lab. So we need to get tungsten to get chemistry lab. Once we get chemistry lab, then we can do a whole bunch of stuff. So what do you think? Do you think we? I don't want to say abandon this base, but you think we set up another place base on a different planet now? Um, to get tungsten. Ammonium, sorry, ammonium and aluminum. I need. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Um, how about you? How about you do the initial landing this time? So okay. it is possible. Basically, you're going to do the initial landing and set up a, a launch pad, and then I'll follow behind with a bunch of stuff. Okay. What do I need on me? I I don't remember. So you'll have to figure it out. I'll look it up. Oh, uh, no, I just wasn't yeah. sure if you had it written down. No, but j just remember, you, you you have just enough to let it fit, and you can only bring small packed items. So you're basically bringing, like, a packed medium platform and a packed medium printer. And then you, and then I would bring, I would bring, you have to look it up as either wind or solar. Let me check it out. It's high sun, high wind. I, I would probably do sun. Gotcha. Oh, I always hit the wrong button to close menu. Oh, that's why. Oh, that was just like a very tiny pocket of hematite. So no There we go. I had this research item. Are these exo unit, but it was on its like side. <laughs> that makes sense. And it, and it was facing against rock that I couldn't bury. So I had to like dig underneath it and get it to slowly roll over. Oh, so I could access it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a research chamber going. So the good news is we can definitely do a, a um, shredder now with the iron. And with that, 
we can get scrap points that we trade in at the trade platform, but we can't build the trade platform yet. This is fine. Yeah. Okay, so medium printer so I can make a large printer. A medium platform to put the printer on. Yep, I got that. And then you need some source of power, which is probably solar. You, I'm just going to take the one that's here. The medium platform, though, I don't know if we have it unlocked or not, but you need, you. I think you need another, you need the, the big medium platform that lets you put a power and a medium printer. Does that make sense? Uh, the solar needs its the solar either needs to be on its own platform which i think is too much to carry or on the same platform as the medium printer so you need the one that has like the two slot in the middle and the one slots on either side or actually no i don't think that works it's you you know i think you oh yeah you're gonna have to have a large platform Oh, uh, maybe I guess I made the wrong one then. No, so yeah, you need um, it's called medium platform B. Uh, I don't even know if we have it unlocked. Okay. Oh, and it, and it has to be a wind turbine. That's the other thing. A wind? No, I thought you said solar. Yeah, because the medium platform B is, is. Well, no, sorry, you can do an A. No, that's a large platform. Sorry, I'm I'm looking at these platforms. So okay, so you need you need a medium platform B because that gets you. One tier two for the printer, and two tier ones for power. The solar panel. But do I need wind or solar? You need wind because there's no solar panel that fits on a tier one. All, yeah, but the wind and the wind ones are their own platforms too. Oh, and the solar's their own platform, right? Uh, I don't know if the one solar is, but the two. Uh, is there? Yeah, the two the two no, is the, not. I don't, so the one is. Yeah, but the one. Okay, so is, then you should so be fine. Just make you should the, be fine with the platform you built then, right? Yeah, fine with the platform. Okay, so you have a built platform. You have a built a package printer. You have uh, a wind. It's got to be wind because that sits on its own, or a generator. I think wind. Y'all be nice. Um. And then you need the materials to make a large platform and the materials to make a large printer and then the materials to print a large landing pad. Oh, and you know what you sh you yes. should have. And then you need a beacon. The beacon is more for safety, but it's just to make sure that you have that we don't lose that we don't forget where it is because we'll see the beacon. I think I'm going to build, you know, I'm going to let you do your thing. I feel like I'm confusing you by talking more. So I'm going to let you do your thing. Yeah, I'm just, I got to go the research chamber. Oh, here's one. Tequila. You ever do that? Tequila? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, when you're like rapid clicking through one of the scroll menus in this game and it makes the pop 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 noise. Oh, so yeah. So I like to go pop 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 pop. Tequila. Do you? Is that what you like to do? How do you feel about tequila? Uh, okay. I think I like it more than whiskey, but not by much. Yeah, I might. That's a good, cute observation. It's good as a, sh as a shot. Whoa. Okay, research chambers, printing. Okay, I need to bring three compound with me. So, the one thing I'll say, and this helped me out, is when you think you have everything, just open your backpack 
and walk through things that you're going to do in sequence. So it's like, I'm going to set yeah. down a medium platform. I have it. Now I'm going to build. I have two resin to build. You know what I mean? That helps. I don't think I can bring my work lights with me. Probably not. I'm going to, I'm going to buy a nice big platform, but which one am I buying? compound hmm. that's enough to make the large printer and then what do I need to make the landing pad from the large printer uh, do you want me to tell you the ingredients because I have it up no that's okay I, I, I'm at the large printer I can just check landing pad is two ceramic and one aluminium that I need to definitely uh -huh. print these out um, the thing about these guys, I want to find better versions. Actually, I think it's just a problem with the game. This game, even with these guides, it's still hard to follow things because there's too many resources. I'm going to yeah. count how many resources there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five. There's 25, tw 26 resources in this game. That's too many. Is that including like alloys and stuff? Or yes, no? including alloys. Oh, uh, but base resources, there's only a handful. Like base resources you can find? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think there's 15. Okay, can, can I talk through this? Um, yeah. Okay, so I get on the shuttle. I fly. I have a thruster on there already. I fly to the solo. Is that where I'm going? I double check. I'll, I'll double yes, check. Yes, to solo. I, I land. I unpack a medium platform A. Yes. Unpack a medium printer. Put printer on there. Wait one second. I just want to see if I have a medium platform A so I can follow. Oh, thanks for the Renee Haberman. Thanks for the sub. Okay, medium platform A. Okay. And I put the printer on. Yes. It. I put down both small wind turbines. And plug them in. Let me double check those are standalone. They are standalone. Yeah, I just checked. Then I put three compound on there and print a large printer. Yeah. Then I put the large printer. Yeah, you missed the large platform. Large three platform. resin for a large platform. That's why I don't think you can carry two wind termite. I think it's only one. Three resin. How we just have no resin here. I've been using it a lot. Yeah. That's why we need to get those auto things up and running eventually. Yeah. Um, I agree. At least a soil centrifuge thing exists, because I just use that. It's easier than going to find resin. Actually, I think there's resin up. Okay, research is set up at the new base. At whatever planet this is. I wish we found iron closer to us. I, I kind of thought I should have just dug down right at the base if I was going to do that. So maybe I'll do that when I go back there. Yeah. I think I'm going to go. The other thing I noticed is I think around the gateway, there's rare resources. Yeah, because that's where we found graphite here. Yeah. Let's buy the thing. So I'm going to look up. I, I think I'm just going to build towards, make a tether to the gateway. How to navigate. You said a large. You said large platform A is three resin. Two resin. Two resin. Gotcha. Yeah. And that fits the. 
large printer. Yes. Yeah. You you build the plat. You print the platform, then print the printer, put it on top of it, and then you can do the landing pad. Trying to figure out. Okay. So I think we're closer to the South Pole. Okay, two resin. Okay, so two resin to make the large platform A. Then I put the large platform on it, or large printer on it. Yeah. And then I use two ceramic and one aluminum to print a landing pad. Yes, yes, one aluminum, two And ceramics. that's it, right? Yeah, that should be it. Is your backpack full? I think your backpack should be full. Oh, I have one. So five. I put a thruster in there. You don't have to. It was it was just kind of a safety measure for me, but I, I don't think you actually need it. I'm gonna take a work light just to have it. That works. Or, no, or I'm you not wanna... gonna take a work light. I'm gonna take a bundle of tethers. Yeah, cause that'll help you. Okay, so then the other thing is you're going to see the gateway when you try and land. Just try and land as close to the gateway as possible. Yeah. You, okay. you just may have to orbit I'm for a while. Going, I'm going to fly. Fly, baby boy. And I'm going to DeSoto. DeSolo. Yes. It should be... That's the one that has the main Wolframite? Yes. It should, it should be cool. the moon of the planet we started on. Oh. It's kind of helpful. It is the moon of the planet we start. We. Yeah, I knew there was a gate system because when I turned the power on, on that, uh, the one that we were near, mm -hmm. it, uh, I was like, where do you want to select to go? Gotcha. Okay, I think. Oh man, it put me right above the gate. Perfect. So I think the closest spot to it is this. Ooh, this is a dark side of the moon. Oh, don't land me. place why did you put me here are you in like a crater yeah so the good news is when you put down the landing pad that's going to be your new landing location if that makes sense like oh wait i'm at the south pole where's the gateway Um. Oh, it's found on the equator. Ugh, that's annoying. Well, let me go explore. Oh, no, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oof. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and head back so that I can be prepared when you're ready for me. Come on! I I forgot to bring a soil canister, so I can't flatten anything. Oh, which is fine. Yeah, but. yeah, it's gonna be a crappy build. That's that's what mine was. Okay, platform A. What happened to the... I thought I put a beacon down. Oh, there it is.
Okay, I'm coming back home. What? Because there's no wind? So I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring a beacon. I'm gonna bring enough material to make another landing pad. Because that way we can both land there at the same time. Because eventually we're probably going to need three landing pads at each base, just so that if we all want to go, we can at the same time. Or unless we just have a good mm -hmm. shuttle. Okay. Printing what? the large platform. Oh, you do need thruster to get out of orbit. That's annoying. No wind, come back. I see the wind lines. Yeah, it's slow. It's definitely slow. Okay, where am I going? Head and hope. Come on, wind. Came back for a second. Does elevation affect wind? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Man, right before we started the stream, I was playing, and I was deep underground in that planet, and uh, it started playing really scary music. Oh. <laughs> and I wanted to get out. <laughs> I like was having, like, not claustrophobia, but I was just like, I need to get to the surface now. Yeah. Too spoopy. Man, I wonder if a small generator and three things of organics would have been better. So I can I can But I guess as soon as you ran out of organics you wouldn't Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some of that stuff. I don't get it. I like see the wind lines and these things aren't moving. I'm going to bring two carbon. Did you you didn't bring a generator, right? I did not bring a generator. Okay, one second. It's a printer. It's a work going. Come on. How are these not moving? Okay, and then I'm going to print a um Oh, that's why I'm so confused. I was like, where is everything? And then I realized you... <laughs> you reorganized the base slightly. I thought I had a sink. Oh, I wonder if the wind matters for the direction of the, like, cups. Oh, I don't think so. I'm also bringing a battery. So I'm going to bring... Generator with carbon. I'm going to bring a battery. I'm going to bring another thruster because it's always good to have that. Solid fuel yeah. thruster is that plus that. Oh, and then I was going to bring enough material for a new landing pad. Oh, 
I wish this stuff was in alphabetical order. It's got like some weird organization to it, but it's not. I feel like I'm always looking for stuff. Aluminum. Oh, that's copper. Landing pad is aluminum, ceramic, and ceramic. Okay, so I have landing pad. I have a generator and two carbons. Um, I have medium battery. Anything else you can think of? Um, I think that's it. I'll bring the thruster. What's some What's some good material to have there? Probably aluminum. Yeah. Oh yes, I got organic. There's enough compound around. I was being a, I was being stupid. I just built a small generator, and I'll put some organic on it. Okay. All right. I'm on my way. Well, there's no landing pad yet. Oh, is it still printing? It's still printing the large platform. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm good then here. Yeah, I like this re reorg. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Just that way it all feeds through. This one. Yeah, lots more space too. Oh, you know what? I am going to build some tethers. How's it going? Uh, good. I'm printing the large printer now. Okay. Yeah, just let me know when you're deployed. Yeah. I just got to find more organic. What do you think we... Uh, I'm going to order clay. Greater. Some of these bass noises weird me out. Yeah. Why well, I just need a little bit more organic. Okay, so I got a medium battery at, at home base now. Just one, awesome. but at least it's filling. Yeah, let's... And the sunset's way too fast here. Yeah, I guess that is a downside. I, I always think of it as like, oh, it's night's only three minutes long. But at the same time, well, but you could... Yeah, maybe that is a good thing. Because if you accidentally land and it's nighttime, and it's 30 minutes, then you have to wait 30 minutes just to print. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely better. I mean, that's definitely worse. If you wait 30 minutes, but then it prints immediately, versus printing over 10 minutes because you keep having to stop. Yeah, we're looking pretty good.
Okay, I'm gonna make some. So do you tethers. do you need that generator, or should I bring? I don't need a generator. I, I built a small generator. Okay, all right. I just I'm trying to find more organic. Yeah, that's fair. So I can get the generator running. Okay, so then I'll bring carbon for the generator, but maybe I should bring a battery as well. What do you think? Yeah. Battery. It's probably a good idea. Because that way we can at least charge it. Well, but what about solar or wind? Are you okay on those or you need something? Solar wind? What I'm saying is if I bring the battery, we've got the battery, but... But the generator's not a long-term power generator, so... Oh, true. What would you rather have me bring? A medium solar or a medium wind? Hmm... Medium wind, I guess, is probably better. Okay. But, like, these winds are here, and they're not doing anything probably not windy it's just like really weird well do you have it do you have any solar then i have no solar so it... i so i should bring a solar then because i think it's best to have at least one of each yeah okay all right so i'm gonna bring oh organic And I'm bringing two batteries, actually. All right, so here's what I've got. Solid fuel th thruster, just as a backdrop. Tethers, small canister. Standard stuff. And then I have two medium batteries, a solar panel, one carbon, um, two ceramic and an aluminum, which will let me do another landing pad. So we've got two landing pads and then I have two extra aluminum or I'm, yeah, two extra aluminum. Cause I, I figure we probably need aluminum there. So just let me know when you're ready. Yep. Just gathering organic now. Cause I finally found some. The cool thing is this Jump. salvage. As you burn through these thrusters, they become salvage that you can get stuff from. That's kind of cool. Scrap, I guess is what it's called. Ooh, the other cool thing about the tractor is that you can hook it into the base to charge it more quickly if, if it's like if you bring it back empty oh I like that oh, why is all this okay landing pad is now printing okay and then it's pretty honking just so you know yeah I found a spot I can set it up, I think. So I think basically our goal now is, I think we need to set up a base on every single planet and then make our way towards the core on every planet. And then we'll just continue researching and building as we need to, to get stuff to make it easier for us. I think one of the key things I want is a large shuttle, which is titanium alloy. Titanium we'll get from the planet you're on, 
and titanium alloy is glass glass titanium and graphite where's graphite come from how do you get graphite Graphite comes from trade platform. Oh no, I can get graphite from the dirt. So yeah, so I think titanium is our next choke point resource. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm gonna look up how to find hematite easily. It's in Novus, it's in the cave layers. So we have to go into the caves, which we kind of already knew. I feel like there's gotta be tools that make it easier to find. Okay, landing pad is here. Okay, there's gotta be ways to find. There's gotta be easier ways to find uh, resources. Oh, can you bring my two work? Oh, you're probably full. Never yeah, mind. I'm full. I already took off two. Oh, right, right. Okay. Leave orbit. The solo is where you are, right? Yes. All right, I see you. I am landing. Well, I want to see. Oh, losing oxygen. Oh, this is a Hello. nice planet. I like this one. Cool. Okay, where's large printer? Actually, let me get. Oh, you know what we need? Is it, There should be resin around here, right? Yeah, there is over on that hill over there. I should have brought some platforms because these batteries got to go on platforms. I'm just collecting all this compound so we don't have to farm it every time we need it. Can you get some resin when you get a chance? Yeah. Actually, just show me where the resin is and I'll help you collect it. Well, it's follow my tether. It's that way. You realize you have two tethers here, right? Sorry, I meant follow like the main tether. That's why. <laughs> but I wish there was any. I wish you could put up signs in this game. I thought I saw some over here. Yeah, it's up top. I see it. Just watch out for the exploding guys. I'm gonna drop tethers. Also some wrecks over here. Ooh, oxygen filters. Ooh, nice. Just annexes. I wonder what around your cursor. Ooh, more oxygen filters. I wonder what this. What do those do? They're consumable. They're like oxygen tanks. What is the <gasps> small solar? What is the cursor around your? Oh, around the diggy? No, I mean around your cursor. There's a circle. What is that? When you're digging or yeah, when, you, when, you're, when you're digging. digging. Yeah. So that that um, when you have like a a juice pack, a uh, dirt pack, that shows how full the uh, current dirt pack is. That's nice. But when you don't, it's just the like area that you're grabbing. When you 
What do you mean I don't have enough resin? Are you coming back soon or no? Yeah, it's all right here. Uh, I just dropped it. Thank you. Oh, come on, power. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? Oh, let me turn. You, you got to turn these on. Well, you can turn them off. I can put. On. Yeah, this I turned them on rarely. I found a, a personal solar. Small solar. Oh, really? I didn't know those exist. I didn't either. I just found it on one of the trucks. All right, I'm going to put carbon on this one when it's out. Okay. Uh, so we need to start looking for... Yeah, I was going to look up where it is, if it's cave layer or something. Oh, how do I print? Uh, uh, is it a small printer for the soil canister? Oh, we talked about this. The small generator doesn't take carbon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's a small canister for soil. Is that is that what your question was? Small printer for soil soil canister. No, it's backpack printer. For the handheld one, it's the backpack printer. Oh, it is. You're right, you're right, you're There's right. There's bigger canisters, because you can make, like, a drill rover. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Small can. There's a small printer in case we need it. Go. Okay, there we go. We're, we're, we're sitting a little prettier on power. Okay. Okay. I'm uh, carving away into this basin over here because there's like a... Um, Got it. There's a cave entrance. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they said cave layers is where it's at. I just need to... This tether over here. And you think I should it. just put this launch pad next to the other one? Oh, did you make a second launch pad? Yeah, because w once you take off, you can only land at a space if it has a landing pad available. Oh, so true. this allows us to bring both shuttles down. That's smart. You know, so like if we're really low on titanium, we can just be like, all right, everybody hop in your shuttles. We're we're heading out. Plus, it's pretty cheap. Where's the cave entrance? Uh, you am, uh, it's down here. I can see it over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm, yeah, tether. I'm gonna grab compound so we can tether. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I think I definitely see how the game gets expanded because of the tech tree, but also because it's like to get to beat the game. There is an end, there is a way to beat the game. You got to be good enough to get to the core of every planet and bring the resources there you need. Okay. Oh, you know what we do need is an oxygenator. Let me see if it's easy enough for me to build that real quick. Oh, this is very much a cave. It is not. Okay, so we just need to be... Oh, no, wait. We don't have ceramic here, do we? Uh, get a soil thing. Yeah, good point. Soil centrifuge is two aluminum, two compound. Good call. Let me make that real quick, because we will need that. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Yeah, I, I didn't run tethers all the way to you. Just 
No, that's fine. No, that was my fault. What do I need? Soil centrifuge, aluminum, and a compound. Good call on the soil centrifuge. And then I have to build a no furnace. Or smelter, which is two resin and a compound, so I definitely need more resin. Yeah, I think that's the other thing we gotta get. Cause cause I was we if we didn't make an oxygenator like right now, only one of us can leave in the shuttle, so the other person would have just had to stay behind and willingly die. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh man, this cave entrance just stops. Oh wait, no. It goes the other way. Oh, it just stops over here. Does it? Well, you could just use it to keep digging down. That's what I'm gonna do. I just didn't know if it was natural. Lord knows I love digging down. And immediately cave. Yeah, I feel like the cave entrances spawn and then they fill in for some reason, mm -hmm. but it still leads to a cave. Oh, so you just gotta dig past it a little bit. shouldn't be if you're tethered you shouldn't be because the battery's charging how come on that other planet oh because we had we had batteries now that's mm -hmm. right. no i wasn't <sighs> or yeah some of the noises i have no idea what they are what is it here looks like water glass down here it's funny it put you in a crater too when you landed it's weird yeah it is weird oh i'm out of tethers Yay. I didn't realize each uh, resource makes a different noise when you complete a node. Oh, really? I didn't realize that either. Okay, time to find more resin. I, I'm trying to, I feel like there's got to be, I feel like there should be a resource radar in this game that you can upgrade yeah. to. That'd be great. Do you know if there's any resin on the way to the cave or should I look in a different direction? Uh, I didn't see any. Okay, I think I'm full up now. Yep. Oh, 
found some. I'll show you where the wolf might is before I leave. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? It's a beacon. But we've got soil mm. analyzer, so I can make it. Tethers? Yeah. Well, I'm not near you. Okay, I'm gonna come back then. Yeah, I'm just getting some resin because I, I need it to make the smelter. Can you put your soil in and request uh, quartz? There's a bunch of quartz down here. Oh yeah, you wanna grab it? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm coming back with the full thing. I can put my soil in. I'm coming back with the full thing of Wolframite. Oh. I just wanna make a beacon so we don't lose this landing site. Because I think if both shuttles leave you won't be able to see it from orbit. Okay, time to make a smelting furnace. Nice. What happened to all the compound? Uh, I took most of it, but here's three. Uh, oh, thanks. So what is that? That's Wolframite. All this Wolframite. I feel like we should look up that automated transport shuttle you were talking about. Yeah, I don't even know what it's called. I just remember seeing it in something. Yeah, we should. <laughs> How much longer are we playing for? Oh, it's been more than two hours. I'm not done yet. I'll only wrap it up soon. Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready to go. Uh, well, Karen gave me the angry eye a little bit ago, but. But you haven't seen it. I don't know what she wanted to do. Okay, um. This is a terrible spot for the other landing pad, by the way. Is it? It just looks just go, gross. Just go up and over it. I'm just gonna move it. I think you have to pack it or collapse it. Yeah. What the heck? The option was just there. I'm just gonna put it over here. These batteries are great. Okay, beacon's down. So I, I would say the only thing we need to save for the next stream, as in don't do it until we're on stream, is solve a center gateway, oh, a core yeah. gateway. I think it's called like a gateway engine or something. You can solve all the others around the planet, travel to other planets, set up other bases. But I think we leave. I concur. Man, there's a lot here. Of Wolframite? Yeah. So maybe we should load up and head back and then we'll call it. Yeah, that sounds about good.
Okay, so I'm gonna load. What do we need for the bigger shuttles? So I, I read that the large shuttle, if you pack it up properly, you get more than 600 T1 slots on it. Wow. Is, yeah, because there's all the like, there's like silos and then you put extra storage on top of storage. That's crazy. So the large shuttle is two titanium alloy and two. Oh man, I think we can build a large shuttle today. That would be awesome. We don't have titanium, do we? We're going to get it from the Wolframite. No, that's tungsten. Oh, you're right. Yeah, large shuttles, titanium alloy, titanium. I don't know. We'll get the tungsten. Okay, so I'm completely... Well, actually, I can leave tethers here. I'm... Yeah, I'll leave tethers as well, and I'll take another one. Where are you taking? I'm full up on Wolframite. Me too. So, I'll take your shuttle, you take my shuttle? Or, and we're going... Wait, are there two landing pads? Oh, yeah, there are. There's the original landing pad. Yes, so we should, we should be able to land. That should count as a landing pad. Wait... This, I need to make a new thruster, don't I? Did you bring a thruster? No, you should be able to round trip it. Did you put a new thruster on before you left home? On on mine, not... What about yours? Yours says used solid fuel thruster. I think mine's okay. I have one in my backpack, so I can always come rescue. But I think it should be fine. It says need thruster. Did you bring your thruster? No, I didn't bring a thruster. I put one on mine when I left. Okay, wait, give me a second. Solid fuel thruster is compound and ammonium. I'm sorry, aluminum and ammonium. Is there aluminum, aluminum lying around? Uh, no, so you might just have to go back and then bring me. Yeah, I'll have to bring you one, okay. Give me a second. I may just make a bunch real quick and bring them. Yeah. Because it gives you a round trip, but I think the problem was my round trip was out of sync. Yeah. Because I did a pop up and down. Because it's... I think it's four uses. Yeah, so I would just try to leave one on you at all times. Oh, wait, there's an aluminum right here. Yeah, so it's an aluminum and ammonium, which should be around there. And it's medium, I mean, small printer. Small printer. Where did the small printer go? I landed. Good job on the woofer, Mike. Got a bunch. Okay, so what does medium shuttle take then? Medium shuttle is aluminum alloy. And aluminum alloy is copper and aluminum. Oh, so we can make a medium shuttle pretty quick then. Tungsten looks very similar to a lot of the other ores. Um, tungsten, what do I need for chemistry lab is tungsten, glass, and ceramic. Oh. 
Oh, right. come on. That was unfair. Okay, chemistry lab, here we come. Man, we are low on resin. Oof. Yeah, I just do the soil. It's easier, quicker. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, I'm coming home. Nice. We've been playing for two and a half hours, but you know yeah, what? Good game. Planet. Good game. Yeah, I do have to get off and finish that script for Jake and record my sultry voice. Which voice? My sultry one. Let me know when you're coming down. Because I'm going to look. Daddy's not yet. Whoa, gosh. Oh, my brain. Come on. Daddy's coming. Oh, I see your icon as you're flying over the planet, as you're orbiting. That's crazy. We... It actually does load in pretty well. Like, I thought it would just clip in at some point, but because I can see your icon before you come in, it, it looks good. Wow. Nice. Great job, y'all. Um, cute. This is gonna go. I'm gonna put this. So much wolf right here. Wait till you do the relog dance. What's the relog dance? What's the relog dance? <laughs> There's the chemistry lab. Man, these extenders are pretty great. Yeah. Oh, now that we have iron, I can make those other platforms so we can get all of this energy going better. But mm -hmm. honestly, those medium batteries will help us out for a while. Because yeah. it's at least storing everything when it's not in use. That's when things get interesting. Ooh. You being a tease. Sounds interesting. I'm making a little okay, bit of so alloy. The thing I have to do next, so I have the research area done and I have the power area done. I want to rework all the like, I want printers in an area and I want like sciencey stuff in an area and then I want the storage in a third area. Um, oh, you know what? I have seen that interdimensional being jiggling about as the game loads. I've seen that when I'm flying around in the shuttle It'll, like, kick me out of the shuttle, all my items will drop, and then it'll spawn me back in the shuttle real quick. Can I make a request, Will? A project yes. for you? I think we should do fully automated and sorted smelting and storage. Because you can put yeah, filters I... on these arms. So, if you want to take on that project. Yeah. Because We'll I'm, work on that. Yeah. And then I, I would also look into the silos because I think there's silos where it just like it's that gif I sent you where it looked like it just throws it into a bin. Yeah, just... I think that's a lot better than. Yeah, so I'll work on that. Um, we also need to you can set up automated research where it plants a plant and then harvests it and then replants the seed. Oh, wow. So you can just have research going. That is um, yeah, I was going through the subreddit and people on the subreddit are having like a, a Factorio-esque renaissance where they're like, oh, we can do this, we can do this. Yeah, with and all someone's the automation. like, I built a calculator. I'm like, of course you did. The most uh, useless thing that everybody does in an automated game. I know, right? They make a calculator. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. 
but we're looking good. Power's looking good. I want to make like a garage. I think I'm going to work on establishing a base on every planet. Yeah, that's a good idea. Two landing pads per. Yeah, I think two. I don't think we need to go three because with the new shuttles, we should be able to just um, take two people, two or three people per. I think I just grabbed something from somebody. No, I'm good. Oh, I got my work lights back. And I got this little solar thing now, which is pretty great. Um, I need... Oh no, why isn't it turning on? I can't remember what I need. Oh, I need research. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the tractor and get some research real quick. Gotcha. Um, yeah, we're looking really good. I Thank do I love thought... that the research, if you've noticed, it, it responds. Yeah. Like in their tree locations, it's great. Makes it easy. So, like, you could set up the research next to those trees, so it just grabs it when it respawns. Yeah. And then places it in a thing. Um, so there is a new event for the EXO request platform, but it's just... Um, it's just like little things. I think it's I think it's cosmetic. Yeah, that's what I mean, cosmetic. Um, oh man, did, butt you, over here. did you did you take the wind turbine off the front of the tractor? Yes, sorry. No, it's fine. I brought a battery. I'm just making sure it didn't glitch out. But it becomes an extra extra spot for research. Thanks for the sub. Thank you. Thank you, stranger. You know what? It's not making that noise. What? It made it for me it. the other week. I thought I changed it for all the platforms, but maybe I didn't save it after I changed it. It was honestly the best thing to come out of that video game. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. Yeah, this whole area over here is gross and I want to fix it. But I will do it off stream. How, do, how about we sign off there, big boy? Okay, let me bring the tractor back at least. We Actually, you know what? Playing, but I gotta be less professional. All right, you do the sign out then. Um, thanks, folks, for watching. Ian has been your host, Ian Gibson. You can find him on Twitter at Hunt270. And by Hunt270, I mean at Think Gibson. <laughs> I've been your secondary host, the man in the red suit, um, Will Crosby. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Subpixelfilms.com brings you straight to our YouTube channel where you can check out all of our stuff, including a video of mine that will hopefully come out on Monday. I got to write the script, finish writing the script after this, and then record my lovely voice. Um, but until then, uh, we're not streaming tonight because we streamed right now. Our next stream is Tuesday. I don't even know what we're doing. I might stream Monday. What if we just do Ashton here on Tuesday? <laughs> Yeah, we might as well. Promise Master here on Tuesday. I gotta see if Zach wants to join us. Until then, folks, thank you for watching. I can't say goodbye. I can't click the end stream button, but Ian can whenever he's ready. Bye, everybody.